The Dealing with the Dry Forums brings together keynote speakers, one of whom is a farm benchmarking specialist, Simon Fritch. I think the biggest issue in a drought is the need to have a farm business plan and that's very simply, it, it shows that you are actually in the driver's seat, that you are in control of your business. We mightn't be able to control all the, all the things happening in the business around us, but it, it articulates one to your financer, plus the people around you and your business that you have, you, you have thought through the issues, that you're trying to make decisions around what's being played out in front of you and, and have got a logical plan that suits you to go forward and shows that you are in the driver's seat. In a drought, we're obviously restricted with cash flow all the time and it becomes the front and centre issue for a lot of people and that can actually affect your decision making quite a lot. The other thing that we have opportunities as managers in difficult times to deal with other stuff that sits on in our businesses and that's things like accrued leave uh, with our staff and those sorts of things so in a, in a tough environment we, we, we have to pay that money regardless so getting leave balances up to date is a, a really important component of that outcome and making sure ultimately that you have a low cost business and that's not an easy thing to establish as a, as a farmer and one of the best ways to do that is actually to measure that result, be involved in a benchmarking group and, and understand where your business sits in terms of its cost management and what we do know from that data is that between different businesses there are large differences so we're having a look at some of our 2018 winter crop results and the differences between the top performing farms who all lost money in a drought, we all lose money in a drought, is that a lot of those guys sort of made minus one percent and yet other businesses in the same region with the same sorts of rainfall, same lack of opportunities as their peers, lost upwards of minus seven percent return. Take that on a ten million dollar asset, you now it's six hundred thousand dollars a year difference between what some farms are doing in terms of managing their business forward and having a low cost business structure compared to others. Do that over four, three or four years of a drought like we're currently experiencing and it's a significant difference in, in wealth erosion occurring between one business that's managing their costs really well and, and one that's not. The big, the big thing about planning is to understand what your resources are and the challenge, the challenge for us in a drought is that uh, uh, we've got a lot of old history in our paddocks um, and if we don't think through those things clearly and well, then we can create issues for ourselves which, which might deny us an opportunity in the future. So it's things like uh, what type of crops we go with following other crops. And the second thing that we need to deal with is, is old chemistry. So those sorts of components can have an impact on the next crop. An important part of every plan is, is how do we minimise risk in our businesses? We've obviously been highly exposed in the last couple of years uh, with the drought in this part of the world, the northern New South Wales environment. And I think that comes back to what we see from our top performers are that they've taken a, quite a strategic view of, of where they're operating their businesses and what, what the limitations of that business are. So it's, it's really about putting a plan together that says, you know what, I live in this environment and it doesn't rain at least one year in every five. And we now know that sometimes it doesn't rain after 18 months, it might be two, two to three years. And it's what we do with that information that really makes the big differences and sets the top performers apart. You know, a good example of that might be that we're in, in an environment here at, at Ballatta, we've got soils that can hold sort of 200 mils of plant available water. Uh, we're in a 500 mil rainfall zone at 25% rainfall efficiency. It takes us more than 18 months to fill a profile on average if you use average sort of rainfall. So it's what growers do with that information to build a resilient business that creates margin for them is the important thing. And the top performers do that so much better than the others in terms of trying to understand the risk around their business. And as a result of that, we see that they, they've built farming systems that enable them to capture reasonably well the upside, but they might give a little bit of that upside up um, just to take some of the downside away from the business to take that out in, in their farming businesses. So examples of that might be fallow, that sort of stuff, a, a long fallow, introducing a bit more long fallow in the farming system in response to the fact that, you know, it's not raining as much as we normally would think. So we're trying to store moisture in the profile and not just running out and planting a crop every year for the sake of it. I think the big thing coming out of this drought is we're actually in an environment right now where ground covers a bit of a premium. We don't have a lot of it left and that's just probably from 
no fault of anybody's really over time. It's just a, an erosion of ground cover over time. So thinking through some of those issues becomes really quite important. I spoke earlier about the importance of employees and dealing with their leave and things, but it's also important you know, to, to have a plan around your staff and thinking about what sort of projects we can do that may not cost a lot of money, but might prepare the business better to take advantage of the next opportunity that's along. So, you know, we've got businesses that are doing work on drainage and those sorts of things. And we haven't had any rain for a long time. To be working on drainage is weird, but we know that from 2016, when we had a lot of water, it had an impact on our productivity. So working on drainage means that if we do get a big rainfall year, we, we can take a greater advantage of that outcome. So in summary, when we're thinking about where we sit right now, I think it's really important to have a plan. And growers need to start with a now, and that is about doing the audit on the paddocks, understanding what their seed germ is, thinking about what they need to put in place to get a good opportunity going forward, thinking about how they're gonna deal with the stubble, get stubble back into the system, and take that plan and ensure that they've got the finance associated with it or the necessary finance in place to get them through to whatever point they've identified down the track and communicate that with the bank. The other part of it is to think about your staff and the people around you. Make sure that you do surround yourself with good people to make decisions. A lot of these things we've talked about, those decisions become a lot easier if you put a good team around you. That's your banker, your accountant, your uh, agronomist, your ag consultant. Those sort of people are the people that can help challenge you. Uh, make sure that your plan is viable and sensible and keep you accountable to it so that you can articulate that well uh, to your business going forward. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.